I feel obligated to talk about fella Nicola Kokuti today. Some of you who have had conversations with me know that I named one of my kids after fella, my first child. But that's not what's important here. He was born into a family that conferred on him the opportunity of living the life of an elitist to live in comfort and in wealth and in convenience and he chose not to do that and instead he put himself at the service of the masses of nigeria you know when i was growing up i remember my father used to play fellas music in his car my father did not necessarily believe in fellas philosophy but he enjoyed as a young man he enjoyed fellas music and that's what i found has actually happened a lot of people that encountered fella who were people that were quote unquote exposed to western style schooling did not really engage with fella intellectually and philosophically they engaged with fella musically and even that on a limited level so many of the so-called well-schooled well-educated so-called edu uh, uh, enlightened people who consider themselves to be civilized will tell you they, they've never been to the to the shrine i have been to the shrine but i did not go to the shrine when fella was alive i ended up going to the shrine after he had passed on many years after i passed on but only because i did not have the opportunity but the point i'm trying to make is that i have listened to so many well-schooled people who speak about fella in the most degrading manner and uh, i said what i'm saying now is that this is not a personal attack on anybody i'm saying this because i owe it to all the young people of Nigeria and the African continent, I owe them an obligation to say this to them. If there is one man, believe me, even beyond the presidents that have ever ruled this country, that every young Nigerian and African should literally idolize if it's possible, it is Fela Nikola Kokuti. And the reasons are so many, but I'm just going to mention a few. One of them is the fact that today, if you want to look at the works he puts on ground by a form of music, the messages he used the music to pass, they remain relevant to, and to us even today. And all the people that went to school, all the people with their degrees, including myself with my university degree, and all the people that have all the big qualifications and all the people that have traveled all over the world and know everything and are so educated and so well-schooled, all of them combined do not have the answer to Nigeria and to Nigeria's problems and did not have the vision that Fela had. They did not make the kind of prophecies Fela made and they did not fight anything resembling the fight battle Fela fought on behalf of the poor masses of this country. If there's any man that all of us as a nation should be grateful to, it is Fela and Nicola Kukuti. The rest of the world is celebrating Fela. We are disrespecting fella's name it is shameful and um, it is sad but you see everybody has a right to their opinions like i said i owe this duty to the young africans and the young nigerians i'm pointing it out to you please go and google fella nikola Kukuti and try and read about his history and his life then take a look at what fella and nikola Kukuti's children are achieving on a daily basis and then check what did children of all the so-called enlightened and educated and uh, civilized people in Nigeria are achieving and see the world of difference see the impact that fellow students are making and understand that fella is someone that's worthy of your respect and is a role model worthy of emulation and maybe I should end with this because I know some people will always bring it up but I consider it irrelevant they will tell you he used to walk around naked uh, he used to um, um, drink a stay smoky bow uh, he used to i mean he had many wives and all of that look first of all fella's choice of clothing was due to his desire to pass a message to the colonizers that africans have their own clothing for those of you who do not know fella actually had a personal footwear maker a guy who made his own shoes he didn't buy western shoes in his home there's i remember some of the pictures i saw it was even a video fella had home full of shoes top to bottom clothes top to bottom he does how he chose to dress himself because he had a message he was trying to pass now as for the smoking of the so-called weed the same weed now has been legalized the question now to ask is this 
why was weed first of all um, banned and made illegal to consume weed has turned out to be a kind of a product that has multiple uses it has multiple benefits health wise and otherwise in other ways even in terms of poultry poultry farmers today in uh, asia and we had a research report that was published they use it in the feed for poultry birds for broilers and they were growing much faster and much more healthier than the normal birds that were fed with normal feed you can google it now the white man came saw weed outlawed weed it's just the same way the white man came and did many things because they wanted to benefit their industries and their health pharmaceutical um, industries so the question to ask ourselves is why is that the same white man that outlawed weed before suddenly now has endorsed the use of weed what's changed what has changed and that's where we should look at it from weed is it bad in, its, in and of itself or is it beneficial peter tosh sang the song legalize it okay and don't criticize it uh, birds eat it ants eat it okay doctors smoke it nurses smoke it lawyers smoke it it's good for asthma it's good for tuberculosis it goes for me he was mentioning things that would make it beneficial to to use weed the same marijuana that they outlawed he kept singing he sang way back in the early 80s the song it was a hit song legalize it you can google for the lyrics now why did peter tosh sing that song because he knew that that thing had more benefits than itself. is there anything used in excess that does not have negative effects no nothing if you take too much um, of any drink it's either if it's sweet it's going to cost you to have a runny stomach if it's um, alcoholic it's going to cost you to get drunk there is nothing on this planet that you use in excess that does not have a negative impact on you so it's just the same way just as weed can be beneficial it can also be damaging if it is used in excess or wrongly if you have drugs in your house that maybe parasol parastamol there's a dosage for it if you exceed the dosage it can cause damage to you so it is beneficial but has the potential to cause harm that's the same way weed is it's just the same thing now i don't take weed but the truth of the matter is that the reality is they've made it now a legal entity so suddenly my tyson has a farm he, he grows marijuana he exports it many parts of america they, they actually use marijuana. it's legal now it's a medicinal farm, uh, um, um, herb so what are we talking about then some people are trying to make it look like it's a bad thing no i argue that if they've legalized it in the country that initially banned it then we should embrace it of course intelligently but most importantly we cannot desecrate the memory of a great revolutionary that literally created a new kind of consciousness for africans that many people across the world are celebrating we should not desecrate his memory by referring to him in negative terms because he smoked weed as far as i'm concerned if it was that weed that he was smoking that is the issue then i choose to look beyond that because he did so many other things that benefited us as a people we should celebrate him for that we don't need to throw the baby out with bath water and fella is an excellent role model fella refused to be corrupt and many people today they call themselves academic they call themselves professor they call themselves uh, um, enlightened people they call themselves uh, um, chiefs they call themselves all kinds of things they are as corrupt as they go then the other thing is they lack courage they are cowards things that they should do they don't do things they should say they don't say things they should stand for they don't stand for fella did all of that he didn't have to he came from a family where he could have chosen to live an easy life he didn't do that he was a man of courage he deserves our respect and our, and our ah come on man we should be teaching our kids about fella and Nicola, which I'm, i've told my kids many times many stories about him and i'll continue to do so and i'll continue to write and speak about him i think the problem with us is that we do not understand who we are fella was the one that enabled me to know that i needed to go and study egypt and to know the origin of ancient egypt and to know the origin of ancient civilization and to understand that africans were the ones that birthed civilization if it wasn't for fella's song i would not have been sensitive enough to pay attention to that fella's sons have been talking about the same thing fella's sons are more educated and more enlightened and more aware of african history and african african origins than many of us who are twice as old as they are we should be ashamed of ourselves as, as elders in african society because these young people who are fellas children are demonstrating more courage than the rest of us and it's a shame that we choose not to acknowledge that man even in death but of course it doesn't matter either way what is important is that there are some of us who will continue to carry on the legacy of fella and Nikola Kukuti. his music is a music that is on in a class of his own the world is celebrating his music but even his work outlives him till today 
he will be a legend even in death and will continue to celebrate him fella is a role model worthy of emulation i will continue to promote fella's philosophy and opportunity to encourage people to embrace fella's music and fella's message fella is worthy of our praise he is a man that really made a difference the rest of us should be ashamed of ourselves because we've not done one tenth of what he has done and for us to, to question fella's legacy fella made more impact in this country in this continent than many of us combined to question that is the utmost form of disrespect anyway none of us will take you seriously if you do so that's the message i have to pass to all of you if you're a young person i urge you go on the web and google to learn about fella nikura kukuti that is a man you should model your life after nobody's asking you to go and take drugs nobody's asking you to go and smoke hemp much as it may be legalized in some places nobody's asking you to do that but there are a lot of other things that are great that you can emulate fella for and I think you should do that because many of your elders in Nigeria are a shame. They are shameless elders. They don't have anything to offer you and there's nothing you can emulate from them. Most of them are just cowards. They don't do anything. All they do is they know how to criticize and to condemn. I'm telling you, fellow live a life that is worthy of emulation. I urge you to emulate him. Thank you.